Hello there, welcome. This is Core TV News on the Hour. I am Geft or Gete. President Goodluck Jonathan has asked the Senate to approve the extension of the one year old state of emergency in the troubled states of Adamawa, Bornu, and Yobe because of the growing activities of the insurgents in the northeast. Jonathan, who made the request through a letter he addressed to Senate President David Mark and read on the floor of the by the Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwerem Madu, says his action was based on the fact that terrorism had yet to abate in the affected states. Ekwerem Madu was silent and when the letter would be discussed, but the Senator representing North, uh, Yobe North, who is also the Secretary of the Northern Senators Forum, Hamed Lawan, vehemently opposed extension in an interview after the plenary. Lawan, however, says he would support any move by the Senate to increase funding for military operation in the affected states. The Senate has ruled out the possibility of the federal government negotiating with the dreaded Boko Haram sect on its latest proposal for the exchange of the abducted schoolgirls with their members in Nigerian prisons. Senate President David Mark made the position of the Senate known while speaking in Beijing, China. Mark specifically dismissed the possibility of President Goodluck Jonathan negotiating with the Boko Haram insurgents for the release of the abducted girls. He noted that the insurgent would not respect any terms of agreement that may be entered into with them because there has been no platform of trust whatsoever. Leader of the sect, Abubakar Shekau, had in a recent video showing the abducted girls for the first time since the abduction vowed that the girls will not be released until the federal government releases members of the group being detained in various detention cells and prisons across the country. The Minister of Finance, Ngozi okunjo Iwela, says the federal government will not in any way allow the activities of terrorists to para paralyze the economy. The minister, in an interview with Yahoo News, described the abduction of the schoolgirls as frustrating, adding that the federal government would do all within its power to rescue them. She says rather than allow terrorists to destroy the economy, the federal government would attack the problem using a multi-dimensional approach. The Nigeria Labour Congress, Trade Union Congress and the Joint Action Front have joined in the global protest demanding the safe return of the abducted schoolgirls. The protesters gathered as early as 7 a.m. at the popular Kejaronda Bridge for a three-kilometer trek to the Lagos seat of government in Abuja, in Alausa rather. Olo Ashi Adegoke was there and followed in this report presented from our studios. <laughs> Nigerians have continued to join voices in condemning the abduction of over 200 girls from a secondary school in Chibok, Bergen State. Women groups, religious, ethnic groups, including the international community, have come out strongly in berating the kidnapping of the female students. In Lagos, it is the turn of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Trade Union Congress and the Joint Action Front to lend their voices to the worldwide condemnation of the barbaric act. Secretary of the Joint Action Front, a non-governmental organization, Abiodwaremu, and joins every Nigerian to take security issues seriously. The Boko Haram situation is such that our military has been weakened to the point that Nigeria is on the verge of recolonization. And that is why Every one of us on the alert on this situation. In a letter written to the federal government received by Latif Ibirogba, Commissioner for Information, Lagos State, Trade Union Congress of Nigeria called on the government to ensure justice and bring back the girls alive soon. It is from this prison that as movement we appeal to all well meaning Nigerians, global leaders of religious thoughts, to put pressure to bear on the members to freely and safely release the abducted female students from Chibok. In the same vein, Lagos chairman of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Idowu Adilakun, encouraged that security agents in the country must do more to secure lives and property of the citizens. Since this thing happened in Nigeria, and we have a lot of soldiers, we have a lot of uh, policemen, and uh, there was a time the, even the president himself said there are Boko Haram people in his government. So uh, you should fish them out 
and let Nigerians know the truth. The Commissioner of Information and Lagos State, who stood in for the Lagos State Governor Babatunde Fashola, promised to deliver the letter to the federal government and expressed optimism that girls will be rescued alive soon. We are all in this believing that since no nation thrives on violence and irregularities that are happening now, the God we serve we bring back these children here and hearty and alive. Amen. As security experts continue to weigh government's options regarding the demands of the Islamist sect Boko Haram, which is calling for exchange of the abducted girls for members of the terror groups incarcerated for various crimes. It is the hope of every well-meaning Nigerian that the kidnapped girls are reunited with their families soon. The women wing of the All Progressives Congress in Lagos have also joined in the protest against the abduction of students of government secondary school Chibok, Borno State. The women took their protest to the governor's office in Lausa. Abiola Luwale completes the story presented from our studios. Clad in red t shirt with the inscription, Bring Back Our Girls. Women of the All Progressive Congress in Lagos State marched through the streets of Ikeja to the governor's office to lend their voices to the worldwide condemnation of the abduction of over 200 schoolgirls from a secondary school in Borno by the Boko Haram. Led by Senator Olure Mitinobu and the APC women leader in the state, Kemi Nelson, the protesters demanded the short gates of the state house be flung open to allow free entry into the state house. After getting entry into the state house, Olure Mitinobu addressed the members of the cabinet present, explaining that the aim of the protest is to express concern about the state of the nation. That's why I said the cheaper girls had drawn a lot of attention to what is going on in the country. A few weeks back, it was the Nyanya bomb blast. Innocent lives were killed. And there are no employment for our children. They extorted them, got them in the stadium, got their money, killed them, and still nothing is heard of it. The APC women leader in Lagos, Kemi Nelson, says they are in the state house to present a letter of protest to Governor Fashola for an onward transmission to President Goodluck Jonathan. While promising the delivery of the letter to the President, the State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Latif Ibirogba, who received the protesters on behalf of Lagos Governor Babatunde Fashola, emphasizes that the abduction remains a dark spot in effective security of life and property in Nigeria. The truth is that Nigerians are not idiots. We will always rise up against whatever is bad. We will always shout that we don't want what is bad. And that's what everybody is saying now, that we don't deserve this kind of thing happening in Nigeria today. As the world continues to condemn the abduction of the schoolgirls by Boko Haram, it is hoped that governments at all levels will put efforts together to put an end to this ugly trend. Human lawyer and human rights activist Femi Falano says some parents of the abducted schoolgirls have identified their children in the video shown by the members of the Boko Haram sect. Falano who spoke when he addressed members of the Committee on Civil Society, Labour, Youths and Sports of the National Conference in Abuja, however criticised the police for disrupting the peaceful protest by Nigerians aimed at forcing governments to urgently take actions that could lead to the release of the abducted girls. It says it was unfortunate that the Nigerian police and its officials were unable to do anything to rescue the girls days after they were abducted. Falano warned members of the civil society to be wary of some other organizations who he says were being funded by the government with a plot to destabilize and plan counter protest anytime that new members of the society are also preparing for the ads. The national chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Tahiru Jaga, says the commission is currently overburdened. He wants some functions of the commission transferred to another body of, uh, to be set up by the federal government. Jaga, who spoke when he addressed members of the National Conference Committee on Political Parties and Electoral Matters in Abuja, 
however, commended the commission for its ability to discharge its constitutional role despite many challenges. He also supported the position that the judicial body should appoint the chairman of the commission, adding that there was a perception in some quarters that those who appoint the chairman of the commission could control him. He listed areas where he said the commission was being overburdened to include registration of political parties, which he said could be handled by another independent body, and persecution of electoral offenders. Meanwhile, the committee recommended that INEC should conduct elections into all elective offices at the state and federal level on the same day. A member of the committee and former national president of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Sani Zoro, says the committee arrived at the decision after careful study of the staggered elections in the country. You're watching Core TV News. We'll take a break. We'll be right back shortly. Stay with us. From time immemorial, women have birthed life, shaped character, and by extension, influenced the society. Morimi of Ife and Moten of Benin, Queen Aminat of Zaria, all women of influence and power. Whether it's before election, after election. How ironical. Women being so powerful, yet have few grounds in decision making. They see you as weak, and I see you as a wife to a man. We are talking women in politics. A woman will be bold enough to stand up and say, I want to become president of Nigeria. Only on Core TV News. Welcome back. It's Core TV News on the air. Europe has stepped up diplomatic efforts to resolve the crisis in Ukraine, with the German foreign minister in Kiev pushing authorities and pro-Moscow rebels to come together at the negotiating table. German foreign minister Frank Walter efforts came and guarded optimism after the Yask East-West security body says Moscow supported its roadmap to resolving the crisis through talks disarmament and elections. Russian lukewarm endorsement of weekend independence votes in the eastern province of Donsk and Lugansk also alert fears President Vladimir Putin would move quickly to annex the territories, as he did with Crimea earlier this year. Moscow, however, kept the pressure on Kiev, Kiev insisting that talks on regional rights must take place before a presidential vote on May 25th and accusing the pro-Western interim government of refusing real dialogue after talks, uh, after talks with Yayansk, with Yanyangs says the situation in Ukraine remains very threatening, but that he hopes progress would be made on resolving the crisis peacefully. He added that presidential elections will play a crucial role in bringing the country out of crisis. That's Core TV News at this hour. Thank you for watching. Join us again at the top of the next hour. We continue with the program Core Digest. And uh, she uh, is still standing by. We still yes, have our much. guest in the studios. Indeed, indeed. Uh, uh, wonderful. We are back here on Core Digest. And uh, the situation of our guest on the video. Oh, did I say the situation? Oh, these are girls. And the video released by Boko Haram is what we are looking at. What implications, what expectations, what parents are feeling, the doubts, does it take care of that doubt whether these girls were abducted or not? Or should somebody be saying at this time, okay, this is what we need to do. We still have in the studio Wilcox, Alex, Alexa, Alexa, Alexa. Uh, as well as uh, Professor Sophie Oluwale. You're welcome. Thank you. Aha, we were talking about the Christian Council of Nigeria yeah. in Kaduna State saying that this release of these girls be monetized so that they can go to a different school of their choice to continue their education as well as take their examination and other issues uh, attended to it, particularly since the government had been, in their word, negligent. Um, Wilcox. I think for me, really, uh, the Christian Association of Nigeria Cardinal branch is just jumping the gun. You've not gotten the girls back. You are looking. You are talking of money. Um, that alone, with that position alone, I think the Boko Haram might even raise the stake, because it's like there is too much free money in the country to play around with. 
Too much free money. Free money. Uh, because everybody wants to monetize everything. Uh, the prophet has just said that, look, the most important and critical factor right now is the girls to come out. Now, after the girls are out, they cannot begin to talk about where to send them to. And, and it can be too sure that if these girls are out, I mean, the, the Western world will not let them be in Nigeria. Remember the case of the Pakistani girl? That was shot. Mm. I mean, what happened today? She's schooling in Birmingham. She's in Birmingham schooling. I mean, the Western world could, will never allow. I mean, these are people that has value for human lives. They will never allow. And it, and it's shameful for Khan to be talking about the, the monetary aspect of it now. And let's let let me just make this point. I think Khan has helped to yes, they have helped to put this on the front burner because it affected more of Christians. Uh, all the all this while. When it affects the 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 the, the core northern Muslims, I mean, can can seems to play the ostrich. They don't seem to come out forcefully. Look, the life of every Nigerian should be paramount in everybody's mind. This yes, the 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 the, the, the Islamic sects might be responsible for this, but they are not only. But I think more Muslims are not affected by this crisis than even Christians. I don't know the, the ratio. I've not done, done a count. Churches have been bombed. Mosques have been bombed. Northern leaders have been killed. Today. Why, why is one not only not able to talk? Because their own lives are also in danger. Because, as I said in initially, you don't even know the, the source, the general, who is involved, who and who is involved. So it's not a Christian Muslim thing. Now, Khan, I, 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 I praise the level of Khan, I mean, the level of which Khan was put into the front burner. To have got, for, for, have, for us to have had this national, international attention, for this matter to have come to this level. Maybe if it was not affecting the Christian community, it could have been one of those that have been swept under the carpet. I don't think Khan made so much noise when it affected that Barra government college. I don't think I don't also think that Khan made so much noise when Baraga was was uh, well, I mean was brought down. Don't get something wrong, I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. But I think we must love and show care for every segment. Even the person is not is a traditionalist. I this is a national phenomenon, and this national think, phenomenon must be addressed nationally. I don't think yes. I'm a Christian of your stock. <laughs> <laughs> Who is a Christian? A Christian is somebody who believes that his religion is the only true religion in the world. Any other person can go to hell. That is Christianity for you. <laughs> the Bible is the only holy book. Any other two is fake. My parents are traditional, they are idolatry, they are worshipping the devil. So why should can't care for you? That's the basis. And, and I think you are a modern Christian who is trying to reformulate Christianity. Mm -hmm. According to Jesus, every one of us is a child of God. That is not Christianity. You'll be told that unless you hold the Bible, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. That is Christianity. Of today? Because that, that, that is the start. This book is only holy. If I not holy, because I is not holy. <laughs> so the, anybody. anybody you remember when Elijah was contesting with the worshippers of Baal, mm -hmm. and he won. He said all the worshippers should be killed. That's your Christianity, the background. So I think we have gotten to a point that we have to know. Spirituality is higher than any religion. Spirituality is higher than any religion. Spirituality is the spiritual power that is above all powers. And I can address it and I can talk from any point of view. Mm -hmm. I'm an Nifa worshiper, I'm looking for the light. Jesus told us he is the light. Mm -hmm. The Muslim may be looking for the light. Who are you to say that your own way of looking for light is the only idea? Well, that is the problem of Christians. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's go back. If I can remember, Boko Haram was once defined yes. as a movement against Western education. Was that any time they said something like that? Supposedly, yes. I think they said something. So, these Western people now, and now they give me money to give the children wealth education. What mm. people are is fighting against? I think we don't get a fact straight. All right. As he said, my concern is about human life. So monetizing the life the of the... The of the issue, mm. the Hawkeye, they have a core right of life. Five million. We stop some of these children from bringing, from being Christians. They will go in wire. Five million. To each girl. Oh, no, it's uh, actually asking for 15 million. 15 million for one girl. To do what? I think we are sort of tracking the issue. As exactly. I always say, we are, the issue is this girl must come back alive. If she remains poor forever, maybe that is what God wants of her. Mm. Don't try to plan a life of, of prosperity, of buying a jet for that. Whether the girl comes out poor or rich, she's, her life is as 
expensive as any other land. Indeed, indeed. So don't, don't, don't continue, don't say million, don't say dollar. That is not the issue. Not Life it. has no value. Let's, in let's. Terms of dollars or euro. Okay, let's look at the, the, even the minister, the minister of finance says that uh, uh, we will not allow the abduction of these girls to affect the economy of Nigeria. We sit talking balance sheets. Yeah. We sit talking money. Yeah. You are the accountants. No, no for me. We're not uh, talking I, negotiations here. No, 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 I think for me, uh, the minister is doing her work. Mm -hmm. We will not allow, I understand from her own point, we will not allow uh, terror or Boko Haram or whatever to overshadow. To spend our life. Uh -huh. We still live. I mean, I, I remember what um, the mayor of New York said. He said, uh, the, terror, the, ter the terrorists cannot allow us to stop being New Yorkers. We must still be New Yorkers. Indeed. We must go out, we must go to our coffee shops, we must go out at night, we must do all that. Mm. Because they have, ish they have, I mean, they are on top of their situation. Now, yes. so as for our economy, you can be sure that the minister is just talking from, from uh, just, just for the talking sake. If you, if you doubt, if whatever thing you might think, this has affected the economy of Nigeria. It has affected it seriously. I was in Aba sometime uh, last year. And somebody was complaining, a, 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 an entrepreneur was complaining, there's a product that he makes mm -hmm. that is consumed in the north. Yes. To be specific in Borno, because people come from Chad and from Jeripo to buy those products. The factory is grounded because he can't take his product there. Today, look at the price of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of basic uh, staple food like yam, tomatoes and all whatnot coming from the north mm -hmm. to the south. It has been affected. Now, how many body, what, what is overshadowing the, the country today? everywhere in the world. It's bring back our girls. So whichever investor wanted to come to Nigeria, maybe uh, in the last uh, one month, will have spent that, I mean, I mean will have started back to say what is really happening in that country. So uh, apparently it has affected, because you have a lot to affect your economy. So your economy is deeply affected. Today, nobody talks about anything again in the country. Every TV station is bring back, bring our, back girls. our girls. Bring back our girls. So what has, is the has, minister has saying? It. What yeah. did she say? She said we will not allow it to occur. So that man should carry his good to Borono. He doesn't want the Boko Haram to affect him. It will affect but, him. No, no, it is already. Why is he saying she will not? It is already affected. <laughs> he don't make it a theoretical statement. Okay. The man for Borono will never come to Aba. Of course not. Because it's in trouble. Mm -hmm. The Aba man is suffering. Mm. How, how can the minister prevent that? She cannot. He's usually talking for talking sake. That's what I'm saying. Then we, we play to the gallery. We talk without actually thinking of the threat of background. If you say you are not going to allow Boko Haram to affect the economy, my proposal is that you are saying, forget it. Don't pay attention to it. Let us go on as normal. I know she doesn't mean that. No, of course not. But that is a possible implication. Mm. I will not allow my husband's uh, drunkenness to affect So I will leave the food to drink. <laughs> is that what you say? If you don't want Boko Haram to affect the economy, please solve the problem of Boko Haram. Exactly. How do we go about that? He is not talking of how to solve it. In solving um, the problem of Boko Haram, uh, President uh, Goodluck Jonathan has uh, sent uh, a proposal to extend the emergency rule in these states. Now, um, do you think we should be talking about extension what right now? What are the nitty gritties of the emergency rule? You see, that's one problem I have with, with our country. What are the nitty gritties of the emergency rule? Now, and let me just make this point quickly. David Mark is in China. He's in China saying that you will not, uh, you will not negotiate. Yeah. Look, the third in common, look, when 9-11 happened, mm -hmm. which is our referral point, everybody was on ground to find solution. What is David Mark doing in China at this time? It doesn't matter. Is he going matter. there to sign the treaty? Or what? He's going there for the good of the country. Which good of the country? We just finished, World, good. We just finished World Economic uh, Summit. We just mm -hmm. finished World Economic uh, 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 Council mm. in Nigeria. We just finished, and the Chinese Premier was here. And, and that's what I'm saying. You see, we don't take our life serious. And that is why this problem has remained. Now, if you're talking of the... And David Mark is supposed to be... In the, uh, the, 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 the Disney president that should do, discuss this uh, emergency. This now, what are the content of the emergency? What are the things that are supposed to be happening? Yeah, we're not military person. There are security information that they may not tell us, mm -hmm. but we should know some of the basics. Yeah, one year down the line, mommy, let me yeah. just finish. One year down the line that you've had this emergency rule. Yes. When there was an emergency, there was no. We didn't hear kidnapping. We didn't hear villages being raised down. We didn't hear the. Um, the uh, naval, the air force base in in Brno being bombed. bombed. Now, into the emergency, then the atrocity has escalated. 
So what are the nitty gritty of this emergency rule? What are the content? I can't understand. So if you're talking about somebody extending it, then David Mark, who is the president of the parliament, who is the, who is the head of the parliamentary, uh, 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 the second arm of, of government, the head of parliament, should be able to address, to tell his colleagues and the nation, and everybody should know this is what it is, and then we know what we're expecting. Not just emergency on a on a on a on an open check, and nothing is happening, and rather we're getting more atrocities. I am confused. Let me hold you there. I, yes, ma'am. I want to ask you one of us. Emergency government and the normal what's the difference? <laughs> the emergency government and the and the normal government. Yes, what has been happening that is different from the normal thing? That is the that, that is the story. Why you put on an emergency? I am not a political scientist, but I read a lot of newspapers. You are going to strengthen the military. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to give them more military and so on. We were told last week, I watched it, that at the time these girls were being adopted. The somebody called the people, the source of people moving towards Shibok, and they knew they were going to cause trouble. They got to Shibok, they didn't have enough vehicles. They came back to Abuja to, to snatch vehicles. Meanwhile, the, the military was being told that something is going there. They have not abducted. The military could not come. Do you know why? Why? About 18 soldiers. That's emergency. It is soldiers. What is the meaning of emergency? If it was the normal, you should give them 180. That's the meaning of emergency. More than it's normal. Give them more police. When the 18 men knew that there's no way they can force Boko Haram, Boko Haram was going east, they went west. They have children, they don't want to die. <laughs> 18 people, is that the emergency situation? How many soldiers do they put there? How many military men? Because emergency means they be controlled rights from this from this from the federal. Mm -hmm. What did the governor have when it was there? Nothing has changed. No facilities has improved. No emergency conditions have been put in place. No nothing has been done to strengthen the security. And you see it is emergency? Emergency what? Is it in name or in practice or in operation? My house I will used to be a dean of students' affairs. Mm -hmm. There were two people washing my flat in the flat of system. A woman protested, why should two people be washing one woman? Ah, that woman is in danger. That's why we give her two. <laughs> the system people did not have anybody. That's the state of emergency. Okay, now what would what you what, what, what would you be expecting in this uh, uh, you said you don't you do not know the nitty gritty yeah. of the emergency yes. What would what are your expectations? I'm not a military you? man and neither am I living in Borono State. Now, mommy, I just told her that you find 18 people in a particular location and 18 cannot face, there's no way 18 can face this superior firepower of Poko Haram and all their uh, camouflage and everything. So what I expect is that maybe Borno and those areas should be more militarized. And then, I'm not even saying, look, people who are calling for removal of the political leadership, I think they are mis missing the point. That's not the issue. The issue is deal with the situation militarily. Let there be more presence of the military. Equip them better. You have, look, you have the, and I keep saying it, I don't believe that Nigerian army cannot solve this problem. Well, the, the, let's, the, let's, David let's, Mark said let's that not forget to us, something. but again, Nigerian army, the, the, Nigerian the, army went to, me, went sir. to. The, 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 the president yeah. admitted at his media chat yeah. that whatever you think about the Nigerian army, we know, acceptance, mm. admission, okay. that they are very, very ill-equipped because of underfunding. Well, the, that with, is, with look, that admittance, look, even that, look, even with that, look, even with that, even with that, let me, even with that, I cannot imagine or believe that the Nigerian army that went to Sierra Leone and was able to dislodge the members of Sierra Leone in a trade they don't know, went to Liberia and stopped Charles Taylor until negotiate, until, until Abacha came to negotiate, stopped Charles Taylor from taking over uh, the, the presidential mansion. Even when Chancellor was in, uh, was in Monrovia, a trade they don't know. It's not the same equipment. So we're talking about whatever equipment that they have, whatever equipment that they have, the number of the Nigerian military is far, far exceed that of Boko Haram. Even if talking about numerical strength, it far exceeds that of Boko Haram. Yes, the landscape must be wide. And people keep talking about this Mr. Forest, and I ask the question, this Mr. Forest, how is it? I, if, if, my, if my knowledge of the North, I've, I've traversed this country very well. If my knowledge of the North, about forest in the North is these short trees and all whatnot, 
they are not as thick forest as you have down south. They are not like like the rainforest that we have down. They are like savanna region. It is. So yeah. So I don't know. I I'm, 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 I don't know the the topography of of uh, Sambisa. Now Sambisa is the meat. Everybody uses Sambisa as a as an escape good as I mean, as an escape route. So the the whatever it is there, the military should be able. We have the APCs. We have the numerical strength. We have their munitions. We have used it elsewhere. We've gone to Sudan. We've gone to we've gone to other places. We've At the expense it. of these girls, two hundred no, girls. No, we are not saying that. No, no because that you is didn't a mention that is the a difference. APCs. No, that's a different issue. Like we are saying, that, like mommy said, don't mix them. These girls, I have. I have considered to the fact that you must negotiate, negotiate with them. but not at this level. You must get your own. That is what you our army knows. You must get our intelligence. Army knows you must get, no, you have the foreigners now to help you. So you have to them So you need the. No, you need the. Uh, what I'm saying, you need, no, you can't expend those children. No, that is what you're you, suggesting. No, no, I'm not suggesting that. You need the intelligence of whatever foreign assistance you are getting now, to either know how these girls can be rescued. Okay. Alive, all of them. No one should go. If it means you negotiating with them and to get them alive, then you have built your capacity with what you have on ground. Now you have built the capacity to now deal with the situation. And the situation must be dealt with in such a way that you will come out tops. That even if Boko Haram exists, like Al-Qaeda still exists, even they exist, they will exist in their shadows. Let me hold you there, sir. Now. You have said something. The picture I had of that area before was that in my thick forest in those state. <laughs> but the geographic, I did geography. The whole of that thing. There's no forest. From the air, you can see almost everything on ground. And there was a program on UIT last week that there are buildings and towns and villages in this area that to say it's okay. <laughs> Human beings are living there. You want to tell me the government, the Nigerian government does not have a small plane or two where they can fly over and over. see what is on the ground? And then I, I, what you said is very well sort of. If the government says, the president says, you don't have enough equipment. Who is the number one who is guilty of that offense? Who allocated money to the military? Himself. He made the proposal <laughs> to the Senate. No, he was the one who did it. Who allocated to them? So he intentionally underfunded them so that I can rely on this way. These are questions that I don't have the answers. Mm. I told philosophers don't give answers. <laughs> the questions we're asking you are the head of state. You know that the money for the military is not enough. Let us keep that. You know there's an emergency in the place. You declare the place a state of emergency. As he said, Nigeria has more than enough number of soldiers to be sent to that place. Did you send them there? You see people in my local government, they can't do anything. Where there's no state of emergency, there's a bunny issue. It needs the military. How many people did he locate to that place? Now he has accepted the superior wisdom of Boko Haram. I cannot fight them. They are too big for me, so I don't want my men to be there. Is that what Jonathan is telling us? Hmm. Or is he expecting 80 people to fight 180? Now, the, 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 the state of emergency now, um, let's assume that uh, it's going to be a full state of emergency. Would you buy to that? We have no, in uh, the, can you forget the emergency. The, the, emergency of state. No, the emergency we the have now. Removed. I know how these children. That is a, the one you are talking about that Yonata is asking for insulting now. There is a burning fire. You are looking for to get uh, kerosene where yes. there is petrol in town. We are still talking <laughs> about the state girls. about state of emergency. That is the whole state. The state of emergency of Nigeria today is to rescue 200 children. Accepted. You can do your political plan later. Please don't confuse the two. <laughs> no, I think you can be sure, but we should look at them. We should look at them. The general emergency can be dealt with. When we solve this, your discussion will be relevant. <laughs> yeah. no, no, what, what, what we're saying is, what we're saying is, yes. The school girls are equally important. Very and very. The, the, the burning issue is let us get them back. Yeah. But again, we still want a situation where Boko Haram can be dealt with. Yeah. And, 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 no, you see, let's. Know, yes, I understand what you're saying. See, see, a, mommy, a, a minimum. Mommy, mommy, what we're saying, mommy, I think what we're saying here is that, you see, we're not talking of Chibok. We forgot who are, uh, Warua. Yeah, yeah, Warua. Yeah, yes. we forgot Warua. Mm -hmm. yes. While Chibok was on, Eleven were done in Warwa. Yes, no, we don't know. Inclusive. Yeah, we don't know where the nest is going to happen. Yes. So we need that. Uh, we need while we are looking at while we are solving the issue of the girls, we must look at the general picture. Now, 
I will not. So I will. I will. Well, if the president is that the to a state of emergency, I agree. I agree to the state of emergency. But there must be something visible. Look, let me tell you something. In after these girls were adopted, what the, what was the reaction of the defense uh, ministry? That all the girls had been rescued, but over hundred of them had been rescued. Only eight are missing. That was what a brigadier general, is it Major General Lukolade? Came to tell Nigerians misinformation, misinformation. is all right. We, now, we, we when after telling us, I'm going after telling us that it, it, it has to, if the school principal has kept quiet, mm -hmm. that would have been this matter would have been swept under the carpet. But the school that has to breathe and come and shout it, we have over 200 and something girls missing. And then before this, this matter came up, Can so, I come in? yes, ma'am, you know the record that when these people got to the school, the principal was not there, no. the metro was not there, no. there was nobody there. No, it was a bounce so down. Don't tell me about the principal saying anything. Why did they abdicate this position of authority? No, I was a headmistress, the metro was always living in the hostel. There was no metro, the only man is a security man. No principal, we didn't know what happened to the school. Yeah. The question I want to ask you emergency state has been here for one year. Yes. This thing still exists. And which is what I'm saying. And the question is, what is the benefit of extending it? Because if you have the emergency that has worked, that has reduced, now you're there. But the emergency was on, and the worst thing in the world has happened. So why do you want to continue emergency? Should it have been reversed? Maybe you should go back to the governor. You can do better. No, no, but the governor. No, because but, this is what, right this now, is what no, in Yako was right saying. Now, right what, now. I'm say, what I'm saying is that this is the normal thing. I put another one. The hope that this one will work better. Better than this, mm. yes. Did it work better? No. no. So why are you extending? Political gimmicks. Okay, that's it. I know that's what we all do. Yeah, yes. I see, I see, I see, I see for me, for me, this matter is serious. And except the presidency. In, con in conjunction with the state governors, take this as serious. Let's play politics. We have played too much politics with it. You know, because that was the idea where the mistrust came in. We've played too much politics with it. It's like, oh, it's APC state. Oh, the PDP is federal government. Oh, they are doing it to. Like, for instance, the first theory was, oh, the adoption was to manage to embarrass the government. So the president kept quiet from what is, what, whatever his uh, left hand have told him until this thing thing in terms of So if there has to be a state of emergency rule, you don't need to remove the governors to have emergency rule. Mommy has just said it. But what has the worked? Point, the, the question no, is, no, no, no. what has the, worked? The governors are not the problem. You what must is? know that. They don't have army. They don't have the police, command of the police. The police is federal government. Law and order is a federal, is a, a, in our constitution today, it's a federal responsibility. But now, that's why there are the, suggestions that the governor should no, be removed. No, no, you don't need to remove them. So when you remove the governor, what will change? The governor has to administer the state. Who will provide, who will provide other services for the people? It's not the governor. I that the origin of the emergency. Of course, it's, it's not the if governor. By law, I am supposed to give the state 20 soldiers. I cannot give him 50. I'll be violating the law. Yes. So to give him 50, I have to remove the governor. And the emergency means because the state is directly under Under me. you, yes. So instead of normal 20, I will give him 250. Did this one happen? No. So what are you talking about the emergency? You are the headmistress of a school you are not doing well. I remove you. I put an acting headmistress who is now doing better. Hmm. But did they do that? No. So this emergency thing you are talking about, I don't understand it. Well, let me quickly yeah. take uh, tweets and uh, Facebook messages coming in as it has to do with the emergency rule. Uh, Richard says, give us the OBJ kind of state of emergency, legal or not illegal. Or illegal. Uh, these are... Uh, C civilian governors should be booted out. Um, we have another one that says, uh, even the state of emergency that uh, GEJ ruled, it has not made any effect on those states. So why is he extending it? Uh, what, what do you say to um, the first one? Mr. The OBJ uh, yeah. is it, is it, we must not. Um, we must understand the legality and the circumstances of every situation. OBJ did what he did, and people criticized that it was not legal because there was no part of the concern. I'm not a lawyer. Maybe the lawyer will tell us better. That gives that um, precedence to remove a sitting governor. How a governor can be removed are all spelled out in the constitution. Mm -hmm. Now, you can have your emergency is security. And what the president said is that. What he said about the emergency, what he, why he justified not removing the governors, which I agree, was the fact that on that state of emergency, unlike on normal times, the, for the army, or the police or army to enter your house, they need a search warrant. Mm -hmm. They need 
to get a, a, a document. But under state of emergency, they can enter your house without any warrant. That's what section that's, 45 Yes, that's what, yes, 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 good. That, that's what it is. That's what emergency is. Now, what OBJ did, maybe, maybe call political vendetta. Now, what happened in, in Plateau State that he removed the governor that year for six months? What happened? Did he solve the problem? What happened in the kitty? That he removed the governor, governor fire she did he solve whatever problem that was there it was just a, a political fighting with them among the states but see here we are dealing with a different scenario and i think the president in his wisdom understands that there is legality and illegality in applying the self emergency and also forget that self emergency must be approved by the national assembly mm -hmm. so it's not just in a a a a, 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 a general theme on, on the hand of the president and let's also say if you say the governors are not done well has the has the, has the federal government done better if the governors have not done well, the governor that has no army, has no police, has no uh, uh, civil defense, uh, does not even have a boys brigade or a boy scout uh, troop that he can command. If the president that has the paraphernalia of the complements of all the security apparatus and that can deploy, there is a military base, in, there is a military army base in Kadun, in, uh, in Medugri, in there is Bruno. one, uh, there is in Bruno, there is Yobe, there is no way in this country have a military base. There's no, and in Bruno has. One of the one of the strongest air the... force base mm. in the country, Bruno has one of them because of the strategic location. So if those base, those can have not been able to achieve anything, is it removing the government? Is the government does the government has command of any of those structures? Would you suggest, ma'am, that a uh, 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 situation where the nation now requires its own police, would it have prevented even these girls from getting further? I mean, yeah, the, what we're getting at. If there is state police. State police. Yes, ma'am. I think we forget this issue also. We used to have state police. You know what happened? What happened? When I come from another state to campaign in your state, <laughs> you meet the police to arrest all my people, lock them up until election. Until election? Yes. I came from my state mm -hmm. to campaign for election in your state. Mm -hmm. And I come with a large entourage. Because the state, the police is under the control of the state where I want to campaign, mm. they will arrest us as hooligans, causing trouble. They In other not... words, state police will be abused. Yes, they use it mm. against each other. Oh, it's been used, that's what you're saying. That's our experience. The state police will be used against other particular people from another state. That's why it was cancelled. They were, it, it happens practically. They say, ah, these people are hooligans, they are in the market, they are trying to thief. They lock you up on the leisure is over. <laughs> so it is dangerous to pull the police. But I think, you see, the, maybe the, the, the president needs to go and look up at the middle of emergency. In a state where there is trouble like Borno, mm -hmm. what we expected the emergency to do is to draw more people to yeah. that place. He has the power to do it. The governor cannot. And what we are asking, if the Jonathan had done that <clears throat> for one year, brought more soldiers and something and they are so strong that they can fall. Did he do that? If he did, why were they not able to face the focus and when they came there? I don't think they improve any security still. They don't say emergency. Emergency to do what? Par Paradise says uh, the best thing is to install a military administrator to take over completely from the state governors of the affected states. Not this type of, uh, of state of emergency that the state governor will still be in charge. Let me ask. Let, let me ask. Let me ask. Will the will the, 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 the administrator who will, he, who, will, who will he be answerable to? The chief of army staff. No, the commander in chief of the armed forces. No, but the chief, of who is the president of Nigeria, right? Yes. So, what are so, you so, about? so, the, so then what would be the difference? Will they tell him? Will, will they allocate more money to him, or will they not give him more troops, or what? If you do not militarize the area, if you do not send in more troops and more ammunition to that area, yeah, then it emergency. is useless. There's no emergency. If everybody on the street cannot feel the presence of a policeman or of a soldier, if everyone cannot see the movement, you know, remember what happens when during under under Abacha, during when June 12 uh, uh, wants to come, mm -hmm. uh, when, when it gets to June, so maybe June 10, 11, you will see that Lagos will be so heavily militarized. You will see the army and the police showing their strength on the streets of Lagos during Abacha's period to tell you, look, we are here. Don't try anything. It was, it, it was against Nadeko. We are here. So everybody in Lagos during June, from June 10 to about June 11, June 12, everybody knows. You see the president. You see them. But I, I, I've not been to Bronu. Can we say that 
the people of Bronu are seeing that presence. Not the people are you seeing? Bopo 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 they know they are not They know they are empty. They know they are impotent. They know. And then they will strike. They know. They know. Because that was why they went to they went to that federal government college. On challenge, we have been told that uh, two hours before they arrived, the checkpoint here was this. I don't know how many hours, but I don't have through that that the checkpoint was dismantled before they arrived at that school to do that massacre. And if the local government chairman has said that, he called the army, called the police four hours before the operation took place in Chibok because the village saw the movements. Mm -hmm. And for you to tell me that in a state of emergency where there should be checkpoints in every kilometer on all water, that a, a people can go to with seven trucks filled with girls, filled with people, oh, challenge. and on challenge into Sambisa, into the so-called dreaded Sambisa. And this girl disappeared into thin air. I want to appear on this the, video. The, the, then it tells me that the emergency has done nothing. There's another one here from Ife One. He says, in my own opinion, GEJ has failed in his quest to secure us. Should we therefore call for a military administrator? The issue in the northeast is not that uh, of administration, but that of security. For over one year, that state of emergency has been in place. The responsibility for securing or security in these three states fell on GEJ. In these last 12 months, Boko Haram attack escalated. The military commanders on the ground have not complained that they are not getting full cooperation from the state governors. So we can uh, safely conclude that GEJ has failed in discharging the responsibility he took when he declared a uh, state yeah. of emergency. I think I will not agree less with that, that no, no, comment. The, because the man did not know that the state of emergency put all the body on him on as him, a person. As a not person. As the not the governor. And what has he done? Okay. The, the governor is administrative. The power from the governors. I will take care of those states. Mm -hmm. The governor is what administrative. He is he security. He thinks it's a sheet of paper writing something. Emergency. Emergency says that you are, I'm the principal of this school. You are the head of department. You are ruining my school. Get out. I will do it directly. Yeah, the window of emergency. What does it do? <laughs> well, King Henry says that uh, Jonathan cannot do anything that is not within the ambit of the law, that is a constitution. This is not a military government. At times like this, it seemed to me that these guys do not want co to cooperate with him so that they will appear weak and clueless. In the eyes of the people, the other time, they refused to approve the 2014 budget and we all kept quiet. They just want to frustrate him out of power. Th if anything is to happen in, <laughs> in those again, we will still blame him and nobody will remember to put any blame on the Senate, the governors or even soldiers as all of them seem to have compromised. Jonathan government is not perfect, but let's respect and support him. It might do us some good. May God bless our Nigeria. I, think I have a question. <laughs> yes, ma'am. This man, you were saying that the uh, other is not the military. Uh, no, yes, King Who's Henry. the head yes. of the military today? The commander in chief. Who? President Jonathan. And then you say it's not under. The military is not under. I think, it's, I think we in Nigeria, we are so under. quick. What we are so, you see, I don't know. Sometimes you look at issues because it's not affecting you. You begin to theorize and rationalize irrationality. President Jonathan is the commander in chief. He is my president. I respect him. I honor him. I pray for him. He is my commander in. He's my president and my commander in chief. We, he, he has elected among all of us to and swear an oath to protect me and the constitution. Therefore, if the army is misbehaving, is the national assembly is misbehaving, is anybody is misbehaving, he takes the bulk stop on his desk. Mm -hmm. If you cannot stand the heat, you don't have a business in the kitchen. This is the only country where people sit tight and look for excuses for, for I mean, for, I mean, for, I mean for, for, for what is excusable. So anybody who is, if he, let it be a party man, whoever is writing that, let it be a party man, let it be a brother, let it be, look, he has sworn an oath to protect you. He, he, he is paid from your taxpayer's money to protect you. He enjoyed the peripheral of office, the private jets, the Astro Rock, and every other contract he signs for whatever thing on your behalf. Therefore, he owes me, he owes you, he owes Nigeria a responsibility for everybody to be safe wherever they are. The army is under his control, police is under his control. Not the governors. The governors are administrative heads of units, of, of states. They don't have police on anything. So, therefore, President Jonathan has to live up to his expectation as the commander in chief and chiefly, according to Jerry Ghana, chiefly command well <laughs> and that all Nigerians will be safe under his reign. We, that is the only respect from We people. may not be able to take all the tweets and... Uh, yeah, there are uh, quite a number of tweets Twitter, and Facebook. But I, I'll, I'll just quickly take this one uh, because I think it relates to um, 
at this stage of emergency. The best thing is for uh, the federal government to completely remove those governors because they join hands to fear the crisis in these particular states. Emergency rules should involve uh, bringing in another people to control the affairs of these affected states. Most of the people ruling in the north are not true uh, Hausa people. The sink into Nigeria and have that long time rubbish. gained uh, ground in that terms is complete of rubbish. Uh, complete and rubbish. Very quickly, very quickly. Man. Very quickly. Remember in the United States there was this segregation of colors in schools. Yes. And the federal government did not want that. Yes. Some states wanted that. Mm -hmm. A boy was admitted to a worldwide school. Soldiers would stand at the door to make sure that nobody. Nobody touches. Federal that. soldiers. Yes. So that is the meaning of emergency. I want this boy. So be in, this in the even state of Colombia. Yes, even though it's black. The state governor will say, no, the law in this place is that black people can now. The federal government says, no, and you have to put your person there. That's the meaning of the state of Colombia. Exactly. Around the, but that, uh, for me, it is his view, but I mean, it's a misplaced view. And All so, right. So, well, so, sorry, let, let, me, let, me, quick, let me quickly take, take this one. one? Uh, that is, that is really one. funny. It one. says it is a pity that PDP uh, just wants to gain a political will there. Assuming it was the PDP governors that were there, would they be saying this? Okay. All right. Please continue to like <laughs> us on Facebook uh, at Core TV News and follow us on our Twitter handle at Core TV News NG. Watch our show and post your comments on all of our YouTube, uh, all of these channels, that is Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That is www.youtube.com slash Core TV News. Uh, this is where we, we, we round it off for this morning, and it's been very exciting to have with us uh, Professor Sophie Oluwale, a retired university teacher, and of course, Wilcox Alistair, a public affairs analyst. We hope when next we'll come for you, you will oblige us. Everybody, you will be happy. Yes, yes, yes. Off this is, this is, this is, this is. And it's so nice, and it's so nice to be the panel with the elder professor. Well, this is where we draw the curtain. It's been Core TV, Core Digest. Tomorrow is another day. I am Shayi Martins and... And I am Gift Ogeta. It's so good to have you uh, stay until the end of the program. Please uh, join us again tomorrow. This continues. And do not forget to follow us on Facebook and uh, also on Twitter. And also you can watch us on our YouTube channel. It's uh, www.youtube.com slash core TV news. We'll leave it there. Bye Thanks for, for watching. Bye. TV News, expanding your view.